Hey love bugs, it's Riles. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family as always. Thank you so much for the love and support. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please... Drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And if you feel like the videos just give you a good vibe and an uplift that you truly need it, please go ahead and give a thumbs up as well as share. It will be greatly appreciated. And the video I'm doing today is called Twin Flame 101. We are not... Uh, we are not all in the same boat, but we are enduring the same um, in the same storm. And I was like, when I seen that, it was off the same girl that I got the... Uh, I got the post from is like um you you say you're just a masterpiece trying to master your piece and that's true you're not all in in the same boat but we're enduring the same storm you know it's just like you know when I hear different people complain about how you know somebody is grieving about a lost loved one and it could be like if you lost a parent or something like that and this person's like I don't understand why it's so hard for them to get over it this person you know their their father or their mother has been passed away for like 10 years or been passed away for five years and I remember I had a discussion with that and I, I think I kind of you know uh poked you know poked the bear when they came at me like that I'm like you really don't know me like that <laughs> but it was just like for example I said do you still have your parents and I was like oh yeah I said okay you know the one thing I said I don't wish death on nobody you know um and I, I, I let me allow myself to retort about that and the anger I really have I've done that and it's just like I had to really withdraw and you know withdraw that vibration from myself and I had to go to God and repent because it's like you don't you don't wish death on nobody no matter how bad it is it, it you know it let let karma and God take his place but it's just like you can't tell people how to heal you can't tell people how to go about it there's no expiration date on how a person should feel you don't know how that person could have been there for them that whole time when nobody else was you know they were very supportive they were very positive they were very nurturing to that person and it's just like it, it, it's just like well we all go through a circle of life we all go through a circle of life and we already know you gotta live to die and die to live you know and it's just like every day is precious you know life is too short and it's just like so many different people you know um will tell you you know enjoy your family while they're here you know i kind of i even said in my 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 videos you know from what stuff that i go through and i always tell people if you are in a situation where you know your family are at each other's throats and stuff like that and this is something that y'all can talk about it is a certain apology owning up to your part being honest you know how much stuff that'll fix you know, and I tell people, I, I used to get so angry at people because it's just like, you know, um, when when you when when that is taken away from you, that's not a reset. You know what I'm saying? Even though it, it's just like I tell people, you can still make amends even though your family is gone. Even if you don't have that kind of gift to where you can communicate like that, you know, your spirits are always around you. All, you know, even when there's different things that I know I'm going through and I know the reason why I'm going through it and it has something to do with like my mom or you know my evil or if even my grandparents that never had a chance to meet I, I'm blessed that I'm able to speak my mind about that you know and it is just like you're going through some kind of trial and tribulation because people are like girl how did you know I was going through this we are all going through the same situation but it's different scenarios we're all working on our own product of ourselves on being the best version of ourselves and for us to be the best version of ourselves we had to be able to heal in certain type of ways that we couldn't condone about how you know uh things were going they couldn't go on like that no more it couldn't keep you know um it couldn't keep going in that same vibration you know if you want life to change you have to be able to make some kind of changes some kind of a uh, huge rearrangement you know to go on into your life and so we're all going through that where we have no place forgiveness. We have to place understanding. We have to see a deeper vibration, you know, um, understand ourselves at a, you know, at a uh, deeper level of our lives, being able to know our core ourselves, the way is waiting for us to acknowledge. So, yes, we are all going through different things. You, you, we're not in the same boat. There's a lot of times where, you know, you may have that support from different people. They're in your life where you can go to. They're giving you those positive thoughts. They're giving you shelter. They're giving you, you know, some kind of financial help. You know, whatever. But there may be somebody that don't have anybody. 
they have to rely on themselves, even though it's like they're dealing with it, but then they're dealing with spirit. You know, they don't have people around them that's helping them. There's different things that they're really going through. Somebody may be suffering homelessness. Somebody may be in a DV shelter, you know, or somebody may be going through a loss, you know, uh, with family or, you know, going through homelessness. But there's some kind of understanding where healing is taking place, being able to find your strength throughout the storm, being able to see that you are the sunshine throughout the storm. You hold that beautiful rainbow within yourself. And these are the different things that are taking place into your life. Where, you know, it comes to that point where I even had to work on myself. And I still work on myself every day on not placing judgment. There'll be different things I want to say. I'm like, hey, draw back. You remember, don't be having a, don't have a lick of what you're going to say into that situation. Because you know you've been in it too. <laughs> don't do that. You know, or don't place judgment on people. You have to understand. You got to be understanding it on you. You can't force healing towards anybody who don't want to be healed. You can't force nobody to save anything. You make sure that you, you know, you working on your blessings and stay working on your blessings. Stop blocking your blessings by thinking about certain things, still talking about certain things, still entertaining certain um, situations with other people just because they're committed on blocking their blessings. All these different things that are going on into your life where you, you be able to get to that point. And, you know, a lot of us are not in that point where we can really see all that clarity that we had to be able to go through and there's a lot of us not able to see that gratitude on even the worst situations that we've gone through that is going to create better for us you know so we're all going through different we're all going on we're floating on a boat some of us being a life raft some of us can be in that little, you know, the, the, the little lifesaver situation. Some of us can just have the little, you know, the, sw you know, the life save, you know, what is, what is it? The, the life jacket. Some of us can be on a daggone yacht. Some of us can be on a cruise ship. And those are the different things that's taking place where they're telling you, you know, we're all dealing with different storms. We're all on the same storm. But we got different, you know, we got different boats that we riding on to get there. You know, or you, in, you know, you're in a shelter. You know, it made me think about that song um, that really matters by uh, by Madonna. I love that song when she said, "You'll find shelter in my arms." You know, only only way to uh, you know, um, she said, "Only way to endure the future is but you know by you know forgetting the past." I can't remember how she said it, but it was just like you know, you can't have a future without your past, and it's not you know you had to be you know you can, but it's just like to me, I am old. You know, you're going through a situation. It, it'll make a brighter future when you can understand your past. When you nurture that past. You appreciate your past. You show gratitude towards what you went through. If you didn't go through this, I would have never known how, how passionate I am about certain situations. If I didn't go through this, I never knew I could be an activist to be able to tell people. I never want that to ever happen to anybody else. I want to be that person I needed when I was stuck, busted, and disgusted. You know, I want to be that person I can be where I have all the, you know, where I have all what I need at that time. Because we ain't going to have all the answers towards everything. But we're needing at that time. And we're open to receiving more answers than we had when we were going through different situations being able to not be shameful embarrassed or you know allowing hurt or hate into our heart because we didn't say certain things at a certain time or we didn't you know know what we knew then you know because a lot of times we get into that vibration i even been there in the heat of heat of a moment where i'm angry like oh i wish i would have never met that person or oh i wish i would you know i would have seen what i see now but it's like i had to learn that lesson i had to know what to look for i had to be able to see those red flags being able to say i see the red flags but i'm getting comfortable i'm not collecting them you know and being able to do that being very assertive with myself keeping boundaries up not just for other people but myself you know breaking away from toxic toxic people but breaking away from the toxic parts of myself you know, and that's where that boat come from, you know, and we have to allow ourselves to not place judgment. You know, a lot of times it's hard to be able to do that when you go through so many different things in your life. You know, we're all going through different situations in our life and they're telling you, you know, never compare your life to other people. That's where that'll, that'll be the joy killer right there. That'll be the stress dealer. You know, when you're trying to compare your chapter one to somebody chapter 20, you know, and those are the different things that we're all going through. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of the video, y'all. Y'all know I usually be making 20, 30 minute videos. But it was just like, hey, you know, I don't, I don't have nothing else to say about that. It's just short and sweet. You know, we're working on stuff. You work on yourself every single day. When you allow yourself to say, you know what, today just ain't a good day. You being honest with yourself. It, what, did you you see the, you know, what was what, what it? Uh, I forgot. Oh, I forgot the word I'm thinking about. 
you know, like back, I'm a 77 baby. So anybody, you know, we watched Electric Company, we watched Pound Puppies, we watched she He-Man, and all that stuff, Strawberry Shortcake. You know, it was like Strawberry Shortcake, Rainbow Bright, all that stuff, Fat Albert. They had, like, you know, towards the end, or even Punky Brewster. I know, especially when I watch Punky Brewster, I miss that show. Punky Brewster and Fat Albert. And I think the one with Pound Puppies is like the end. They'll tell you, you know, this is what this you know taking out of what con you know what it meant at the end you know um it's like oh you had to learn or you know if you're going through abuse you know these are the hotlines they have because they're showing you different segments on how you can learn from different things that are taking place in your life not just in your life but others you know be open be you know be that you know i seen a post the other day it says leave people better than what you found them you know, even you know, even if you're not leaving them permanently, but you're leaving them for a day. You know, even with people that you know we broke away from. I, you know, I wish, I hope, not wish, but I hope they can see the good part of you know what I, you know, what we no longer talk the the beauty that we left in each other's lives. You know, and I do that within myself. You know, even with different things that hurt to the core. You know, I allow myself to say, if it wasn't for this person, it will let me see. How we can support each other when we're going through that funk. You know, being able to make each other laugh. Because people know when we be on one-on-one, -on -one, we be having some goofy, especially if you're a Hayoka. There's nothing going to be, there is not going to be one dull moment that we're going to say anything. People are like, Rosalyn, you be having these sayings. You know, I'm like, no, that's not appealing. That's just straight appalling. What are you doing? <laughs> you know what I mean? Different things and stuff like that. It was just like, it's going straight left. This is like, Rosalyn, you point right. That's what I meant. It's going straight left. So it's not going in the direction it need to be going to because it ain't right. You know, and you're going through different things like that. That's why I love what I do. You know, I love making my podcast. I just finished one and it's just like, you know, um, being able to do that, like, even if I can't make it in, in a physical video, I love making it in an audio. You know, you may not be able to be where you can, where you can, you know, watch the videos. So I love to be able to do my podcast. At least you can listen to it on the go or you can listen to it while you're jogging or when you're on your way to work or something like that. You know, and I love to bring that uplift in people's lives, you know, because now I'm starting to add new pot, not new podcasts, but new posts. You know, because usually I, I do just the uplift, you know, it's just like Grand Risings, Namaste, you know, I say, you know, um, you know, uh, different things like that. We're just showing you a good morning, you know, just to be able to start your good morning off, you know, be able to give you an uplift or it'll be different things where, um, you know, affirmations, it'll be stuff like that. Because usually I show you like uh, toxic, you know, what, what did you look at in a toxic relationship or how to spot a narciss narcissist. Um, how to be honest with people without ghosting them, different techniques on how, um, you know, an empath can deal with uncomfortable environments, stuff like that. I like being able to do that because it helps me out and I want to be able to help other people out and there, you know, and it's the blessing to me when I can get that confirmation when people are like, Rosalind, I really needed this today. Or, you know, I put a, a empath me. You know, I love being able to put that, or even if you don't even have to be an empath, me, it'd be something, you know, just to make you have a little giggle today. You may be in a funk, you know, and you know, people know with your goofy behind, I'm going to come out and say something funny. You know, even when I do my videos, like I said, there'll be different times where y'all see so many different sides of me, you know, where I can be like feisty, be, you know, like real spicy that day. Or I can be in that moment where you can see. You know, it wasn't a good day for me, but I'm going to make it a good day. And I'll be honest, like, yeah, you didn't start off a good day, but I'm going to end it being a positive note. You know, that's what I got to do. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I want to do. You know, I'm going to be days where I'm in my feelings, where I can feel the energy. You know, I tell y'all a lot, even before the video comes out, I can feel the energy that is going to be circling around this video. You know, maybe something that they watched or maybe certain things they wanted to see in a video or wanted to know or whatever. And, um... You know, I can feel that even when I when I tell people, you know, I used to get mad when I had enemies watching my videos because it was it was hurtful, you know, for people that wanted so committed to trying to bring me down. And I feel I had to be able to understand that, too. 
you know, even though if I'm not in that boat and I wouldn't do that, you have to be understanding towards people that choose to do that, you know, and I, you know, I tell people, I see you, you know, and I used to be cocky about it, but now it's just like, don't even be cocky about that because there may be a time where you were just committed on being mean to somebody else too. Just because you don't do that don't mean other people going to be that way towards you. You have to be understanding of that and still not allow that to stop what you're doing. You know, stop, you know, not allow yourself and still send blessings their way. You know, because they need that. You know, and I love being able to do that in my videos. To be able to do, you know, and I, I said my, just within my experiences changed me. You know, doing my videos has changed me. Interacting with y'all has truly changed me. You know, y'all tell me thank you a lot for the different videos I put out. It helps make sense. But you don't realize y'all helping me. You know, that support comes in. You know, which which y'all email me, which y'all text me, which y'all Facebook me, which y'all IG tell me. You know, all these different things. And it's a beautiful situation when we can be able to help each other in that way. You know, to be able to grow. Because there's a, we, we, we need people like us in our lives. We need that. You know, even if it's for a brief moment, you can always leave something with somebody where, you know, even if you were mad at me at that moment, we no longer talk. I want you to be able to think of a moment and still bust out laughing because I have a lot of phony moments with a lot of people. And I said funny. And I didn't mean to say phony because I don't, y'all don't know I don't play that phony mess. But I have a lot of phony, phony, like ha, 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 ha moments with a lot of people because I could be thinking about something. And I'll, I'll, all of a sudden, I'll bust out laughing and looking stupid as I don't know. <laughs> it's like, girl, you okay? Yeah, it was just a thought. You know, just made me think about something that we done had. You know, and, and being able to do that. I said, I'd rather be thinking about that than the reason why we stopped talking. You know, because I'm at that growth where I want to appreciate everyone and everything that I've gone through because it benefited me in so many different ways. And it'll help me get to that next level. It'll help me understand myself, understand my surroundings, help me understand the freaking world. You know, and that mess is so confusing within itself. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of that, y'all. Um, I would love to give a post notification shout out to Laureen. Uh, Brandon, much love to you as well. The Smart uh, Relaxation, much love to you. And Sam C, much love. Um, I hope everybody is doing good. I leave my contact information in the description box below. And as well as, you know, just being able to connect with me. I know a lot of people hit me up one-on-one. -on -one. I call it like Empath Social Working, Empath One-on-One. Just be able to help you have a deeper understanding about your purpose. Uh, just to be able to understand because there will be a lot of times you're like, Rise, I went through this, this, that, and the third. And I'm really trying to understand. Universal, give me that, uh, uh, uh. And be able to help you out in that way, you know. And I, I try, I love being able to help other people. I love to be able to do that because it helps us both out in that way because I could be broke, busted, and disgusted and trying to understand something. And just for me communicating with you, it'll give me that, that answer I was looking for. So when you're doing those different things, um, I love to be able to help out and you know whatever we speak on is confidential you know I also leave my podcast linked in the description box below um, from Spotify I think it's on iVox and eListener or something like that I know it's on Apple um, Apple uh, forgot what it is <laughs> it was like Apple but I know it's on Apple where you can do podcasts and I know that's what it is but um you know, wherever you're listening to it, you know, the link it will be open to where you can be able to listen on um, on any listening podcast compatibility app. So I love that I can be able to do that now. And as well as if you feel like, you know, giving a donation will be greatly appreciated too. whatever you're working on in uh, in your working and in your manis, you know, whatever you're trying to manifest into your fruition. I'm sending whatever you need your way. You know, we all need all that love and everything else. When you're trying to be persistent and consistent, you know, keep going, keep going hard for yourself. If anything that's new that universe is bringing to you, even though you may not understand it, go ahead and invest in that. Go ahead and invest in that because they know what's going to be collaborating to add on towards blessings of that. And stay persistent and consistent because I feel like there's somebody that's been working hard for something and really trying to see the fruit of their labor. And now something new just popped up. And you're trying to understand what that is. That's that. If you're listening to this, you're watching this video, and this has happened to you, go for it. Go for it. You ne never know what is going to unfold in that. You may be having a hidden talent, or it may be certain things that you, you know, you may have been wrestling with in your life, period. And this is going to be able to help you change that. Maybe you haven't been consistent. Maybe you give up before it really gets started. Maybe you, you allow certain things to get real cold before you really get hot. If you're one of those individuals, 
do it. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's going to be something so big for you. And this is something that you needed. So I hope you are able to resonate with that. Much love to you. God bless. I say salam. Uh, much love to you. I love y'all. And, you know, if you're going through social distancing, make sure you give out love, like positivity, words, vibe, frequencies. You never know. Those things can really help somebody and take them a long way. And just because you help to do that, it's going to take you even further. And, you know, please be safe and responsible with everything you do. Much love to you. Peace.